I will connect the adapter directly to the power jack and then track to 20 volts in the motherboard until we find the problem. So let's get started. So let's check first. These two wires, we should find 20 volts. So the first wire, as you can see, we have 20 volts. The second wire, we have 20 volts. Good. So let's go to the coils these two coils so the first coil I have 20 volts here also the second also 20 volts 20 volts should be here also in the other side of coil here we have 20 volt here we have 20 volt good so now this voltage will pass directly to the drain of this MOSFET so let's check as I told to you, these four pins are connected together. So let's check. The first pin, we have 20 volt. The second, 20 volt. The third, 20 volt. To add the last pin, 20 volt. Good. So now, 20 volt should be passed directly to this side. But here, as you can see, we have the gate. The gate should receive the control signal. So let's check the control signal. The drain contain four pins that is connected together as you can see all these pins are connected together okay also the source has three pins that is connected together so now the 20 volt should pass through these coils and then goes to drain to all these four pins and then should pass to the source the gate here should receive the control signal from the IC okay and then as you can see the source of this MOSFET is connected as you can see of the source of this MOSFET here we have the point here as you can see means this is pin number one two three okay and the fourth pin is to get and here we have drain so let's check so the source of this MOSFET should be connected to the source of this as you can see because here we have the path the same path so let's put one probe here in the source and the second here so as you can see the source of two MOSFETs are connected together okay and here we have the drain the drain also should be connected together all pins here should be connected together as you can see because this is the drain okay so 19 volt should pass through these two coils and then go to this MOSFET and pass to, through this MOSFET and then go to the second switch or second MOSFET and pass through it and then goes to this resistor. This is the current sense resistor. This is the current sense resistor. So let's check the drain of this MOSFET should be connected to this resistor. So let's check as you can see. And from this resistor, as you can see, the power will be distributed to the whole motherboard. Okay, the power will be distributed to the whole motherboard. I mean, to the whole circuit in the motherboard. So let's check, for example. So as you can see here, so for example, we have here many circuits. So here, if I check between this point and this circuits I should find a continuity why because the 20 volt should pass directly from this directly to all the circuits so let's check so I will put one probe here okay in the current resistor and then check here the MOSFETs here in this circuit so for example let's check the CPU circuit let's check always we should check the MOSFETs Okay, as you can see, you see in the multimeter, low resistor. So the 20 volt pass directly from this resistor directly to the small switch. And then, of course, the 20 volt will be applied to, the, to this component in order to get the main power for the CPU. So let's check this also here, the circuit also. Always you should check the as you can see the MOSFETs as you can see do you see so this MOSFET here this MOSFET okay receive 20 volt from this and also the same for all 
circuits here so let's check this circuit for example here we have the 3 volt and 5 volt circuit okay so we have here the power management ic we have here thermos fits we have inductor capacitor as we can see and inductors so let's check so here as we can see this is the current sense resistor here so let's check the 20 volt should pass directly to this circuit also so let's check so let's check this side also as you can see okay so this mosfet as you can see is connected directly to this current sense resistor so 20 volt will be distributed to the whole motherboard from this current sense resistor okay so what should we have to do i will connect the adapter directly to the power jack and then track to 20 volts in the motherboard until we find the problem okay so let's get started this is the adapter let's plug the adapter so the adapter is plugged so now let's put the multimeter to dc voltage okay here we have 20 i will put it into 200 always put the multimeter to the higher value okay but first check the adapter whether we have the voltage in the adapter or not so let's check the adapter i will put the black probe here in the negative terminal and then the red probe inside the adapter so let's check in the multimeter we have as you can see we have 20 volt as you can see that's why i put the, the multimeter to 200 because the adapter generate more than 20 volt generate 20 volt or more as you can see if for example the adapter generate just 19 volt i can put the multimeter to 20 volt okay so once we check the serviceability of adapter we find that the adapter is good now let's connect it to the motherboard so now the adapter as you can see is connected to the motherboard so let's check now the power so first we should put the black probe to the ground here for example or anywhere in the motherboard i will put it here in this ground as you can see here okay so let's check first these two wires we should find 20 volts so the first wire as you can see we have 20 volt the second wire I have 20 volt good so let's go to the coils these two coils so the first coil i have 20 volt here also the second also 20 volt 20 volt should be here also in the other side of coil here we have 20 volt here we have 20 volt good so now this voltage will pass directly to the drain of this mosfet so let's check as I told to you, these four pins are connected together. So let's check. The first pin, we have 20 volt. The second, 20 volt. The third, 20 volt. To add the last pin, 20 volt. Good. So now, 20 volt should be passed directly to this side. But here, as you can see, we have the gate. The gate should receive the control signal. So let's check the control signal. Here we have the control signal about 19 okay the control signal is generated by this ic as you can see okay so let's check now the source once we have the control signal the source we should get 19 volt or 20 volt in the source as you can see okay in all these pins we have 20 volt as you can see okay because this mosfet is connected to this mosfet I mean the source of this MOSFET is connected to the source of this MOSFET as we have seen before we should of course find here 20 volt or 19 volt 0.7 or 8 so let's check here the first pin of the source as you can see 19 volt 0.7 or 8 equal to 20 volt the second pin as you can see the third pin okay so now this 
19 volt 0.7 should pass to the side but first the IC or the MOSFET should receive what the control signal in this pin this is the gate so let's check the gate we have 19 volt so the MOSFET has received the control signal from this IC so now we should find here the 19 volt point seven. so let's check the first pin we have zero let's check the second zero the third so here we have the problem so let's check again the third we have 19 volt point seven. let's check the gate we have the control signal here we should get here 19 volt point seven. because we don't get here 19 volt point 0.7 means this MOSFET is failed. We should replace this MOSFET with a serviceable MOSFET. This is the problem for this motherboard. Because here, as you can see, in the source, we have the voltage and also the gate receive the control signal from this IC. But we don't get here any voltage means this is the problem we should replace this MOSFET so let's go and replace this MOSFET so as you can see this is the failed MOSFET as you can see so this is the failed MOSFET so here this is inductors as you can see we get here voltage also we get voltage here in the drain of this MOSFET Okay, here we have source as you can see. This is we have this dot here means this is the first pin. This is source, these three are source. Here we have gate. Okay, and for this MOSFET, we get also voltage here, but and we get the control signal, but the voltage doesn't pass to the drain to this side. So this MOSFET is a bad MOSFET, we should replace it. So as you can see here, this is the reference for this MOSFET. We have here 4423. We should replace this MOSFET with another MOSFET with the same reference. So let's replace this with another MOSFET.